allocate recoupment of impressed bill. Recoupment, please remember, not first time. Received in accounts office for passing from executive. Yes, the correct answer is relevant revenue act is the debit and checks and bills is the credit. This is correct. Now, please tell me in which case the first entry will be entered. The first general, first A is the correct answer in which occasion. Please message me. Yes, very good. Good, 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 good. First time when impressed was created, the impressed suspense set is debited. First time. And again, the impressed suspense set is cleared credit only on closing of the impressed. That means executive send year after impressed is not required. If we remitted the amount to the cash office, then this impressed suspense set is created, RIB is debited. Till such time, this impressed suspense set is a remain debit balance in the our books. So whenever recoupment is comes, it is the please check. Passing the first time, the impressed suspense set is debited, checks and bill is created. That is the object the examiner wants to know whether the SSO has no the difference between these two items. Understood? But during the recoupment, the relevant revenue head, whether demand number 3, 4, 5, 6, depend on the executive. Okay? But checks and bills is always created. This is not any idea for the long back. Initially, yes. After certain period, it was reduced to 12%, but very brief period. 12%, very brief period. But finally, it is 10%. <coughs> yeah, what is the full form of DCF? Full form, very important. Yes, net present value, very good. Yeah, hope I am audible now. 10% is correct answer. See, initially it was 14, but some period 12%, then finally it is 10%. But exemptions, exceptions, this is the assisted sidings and residential buildings for which separate rules are there. Residential retail building after certain period, it was reduced to 12%, but very brief period. 12%, very brief period. But finally, it is 10%. <coughs> yeah, what is the full form of DCF? Please message me. DCF full form. Yes, yes, yes. Very good. What about the NPV? NPV. Full form. Very important. Yes. Net present value. Very good. Yeah, hope I am audible now. 10% is correct answer. See, initially it was 14, but some period 12%, then finally it is 10%. But exemptions, exceptions, this is the assisted sidings and residential buildings for which separate rules are there. Residential retail buildings, what is the rate of return? Please message me. Yes, it is the 6% assessed rent. 6% assessed rent. Here savings in expenditure are increasing the net earnings or combination of both. Either we will take savings or we will take increase in the profit or combination of both. Okay. Interest only we added which is the more than one year. Normally it is more than one year only. Yes. Depreciation is ignored as an element of working expenses in the annual cash flow under discount cash flow method. Okay.
So what is justification? Please check. What is financial? Financial means money or investment. Justification means the action of showing something to the right or reasonable. The action of showing something to be right or reasonable. So in simple financial justification means the money invested should be reasonable or right. How it should be decided whether it is reasonable or right? Because at least it will get, it will fetch minimum 10% rate of return. Okay, because capital is scarce, investment is irreversible. So many projects will be competing for getting acceptance. We have money is 100 rupees, but there are 100 projects will be trying for this, get this budget. Hence needs project appraisal and the investment decisions are the most interesting and most difficult decisions to be made by the management. Why it is important for uh, railways means because we are not an ordinary department. We are uh, complex commercial principles also as a commercial undertaking. The capital expenditure incurred on new assets would be financially justified and sanctioned before it is actually incurred. If it is agriculture department not required, there is no financial justification. But railway being a commercial undertaking, it requires. Works required to safeguard property or repair the damaged track due to floods, etc., are done through. Because from the date of joining in our accounts, we learned this urgency certificate. Yes, very good. Urgency certificate. Okay. So it is the Commencement of essential works without prior detailed estimates or standard sanctioning procedure. What is the urgent works? That is the to safeguard the life or to safeguard the property or repair damage caused by the unforeseen events like floods, accidents. Because the restoration of the maintenance of through communication is very, very important priority. We need not wait for the detailed estimates, sanction, budget. Sanction all this, but here what is the process? The divisional engineer role is to commence immediately, concurrently, he has to prepare one urgency certificate or urgency report to competent authority. In that, he has to detail what is the description of the work, what is the date of commencement, what is justification what is the estimated cost and by what time the estimate is ready for submission. All these issues prepare. And post authorization after completion, the competent authority's responsibility is the, will accord the administrative approval and provide the pressure fund and provide the guidance and set the deadline for submission of the detailed estimate. And each and every copy of the urgent certificate should be reached in the accounts office for a financial oversight and complaints. Okay. <laughs> the cost of repairing the track damage, all these questions are from the AFA 70% 2024. So you can just analyze. Suppose if you are going to appear next exam, what type of questions you are expected? The correct answer is revenue. But in the old code books, it is written as a special revenue. But there is no such provision nowadays. It is a revenue. It is as good as repairs. Yeah, Ajay ji, please. Yeah, okay, right. So it is the correct answer is a revenue. Please check. The term special revenue is not commonly used in the current accounting framework. Okay. It is the including those for track damages. Also, it is a part of repairs and maintenance expenses. 